satisfied like this. The Eastern Conference Finals, Game 4. The Boston Celtics have a battle ahead. Can they even the series at two games apiece? They know they can win and now must rise to the occasion with millions of fans looking on as they square off against the Philadelphia 76ers. The Eastern Conference Finals continue. Game four of this Eastern Conference Finals is up for grabs. The series will either go to a tie, 2-2, or a lopsided 3-1 lead. 2K Sports brings you the NBA playoffs. Moments away, it'll be the Philadelphia 76ers going up against the Boston Celtics. Kevin Harlan here with Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg, and we'll have David Aldridge filling us in from the sideline. And now the opening lineup for Boston. The wing pairing, it's White and Brown. The post tandem, it's Horford and Williams. And it's Brogdon in at the point guard position. And for the 76ers, the forwards, Harris and Tucker. Axie out there with Harden. And it's Embiid in at the center position. Taking a look at Philadelphia. They're in a position, Greg, to take a commanding lead in the series. Playing here in front of their hometown fans, they seem confident that they can get it done. And every right to be so confident. I mean, they've had their doubters. But in reality, at this point, they've shown they can play with anyone. It'll be the Celtics off the tip. Harden against Brogdon. Williams, a screen on Hart. Here's Brogdon, and the rejection by Harden. And the shot is good. Harden with it. There's the pass to Tucker. Philadelphia moving the ball around. And here's Harris from the arc. That's good, and it's Embiid with the assist. Embiid gives you a lot. Scoring, rebounding, defense, and can also beat you with the pass. And here is Brogdon. Upside Brown. Trying to come right back with a three of his own. It's no good. Harris passes to Harden. Just over a minute played here in the start of the game. Hits the three-point pop. Capable of doing great damage from outside for Harden. I think it's simply about shooting with confidence. Pass to White. And here is Brockton. Horford with a screen on Harris. It's up a three. Rebound by Joel B. Hey, you know, I like the competitive spirit, but when you look at it, I think he rushed that three a little bit because he was trying to get back at his opponent. Maxi passes to Harden. Back to Maxi. Headshot off. Good work defensively by Horford. Now about two minutes gone here in the first quarter. against Harden. Feeds it to Horford. Shoots over Tucker. That's good from Horford on the assist by Brown. Look at how expertly Horford rolls out of the pick. Not only did he do it with fundamental soundness, but he did it fast, too. Now here's Harden. There's the drive. Excellent D there from Williams. He operates well in traffic, but still, that's just a tough play. Harris and it's Brown missing the 76ers lead Maxi kicks to Harden passes it to Tucker out to Harris fires from deep that's good and it's Embiid with the assist Harris has got his second basket of the night 
No wasted motion with Harris. He's so smooth and polished as a score. He gets those catch and shoot jumpers off nicely. And yeah, that one's good, Brogdon. He's just such a well-rounded offensive player. He's got a little bit of everything. Brogdon against Harden. High post, MB. And Tucker has it in the corner. That three off the mark. And even without that three ball dropping for him, the defense should have done more on that last play. Corfer with the screen on here. Brown feeling out a bit. Six to shoot. Some solid defense from Harris. And he's been way off the mark this quarter. It's been ugly. Harden against Brogdon. High post, MB. And they double up MB. No one near Maxi as he lets it fly. Buries the long range jumper. The unbridled confidence of Maxi at the arc. You can see it and feel it. He knows how good he is. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. And here's Brown outside. Finally gets one to fall. He's now one for five with his first make. And after missing four straight, he finally gets one to go. Here is Harden. Now the pass to Tucker. Back to Maxi. Fires for three. That's in. Coming off the assist from Embiid. Embiid's got his fourth assist in this one. It's Brogdon on the wing. Back to White. Brogdon outside. It's White on the wing. Over Maxi. White, good. White, is one of the things you like, he plays within himself. Never forces things offensively. Embiid sets the pick for Maxi. Whistle blows. Bucket is good. And he'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. And their offense already in a flow. Some stellar shooting to jump out to this lead. Quality looks they're getting and they're capitalizing on them, guys. They have to be happy with this start offensively. One shot. The free throw off from Maxi. Not only is Maxi solid and efficient from the line, but he gets there quite a bit too. Count the bucket, and he's got a free throw coming up as well. It'll put Derek White on the line. That one on Maxi. And guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown for the 76ers. You know, right from the start, it seemed they got hot from three-point range, pulling apart the defense and racking up the points too. And it seems they've also put an emphasis on moving the ball, working to rotate around the defense and find those quality looks. And that one falls to White. It didn't take long for White to distinguish himself in the league. He's a really good ball handler and he's got some good moves too. Harden finds MB. Here's Maxi. Now here's MB. Nothing on the board. Fouled on the shot and picks up two points. So one free throw coming up. Embiid is unstoppable, just too strong for the defense, no matter what they throw at him. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. Porzingis is checked in for Boston. Second team foul. What's up? At the line for Philadelphia, Joel one shot. The well, free throw drops for Embiid. The constant evolution of Embiid's game, really impressive. The credit to his work ethic. He continues to get better 
becoming a bigger threat with his improved arsenal. Count the basket. Yeah, and really, it's been a major aspect of their offense in the early stages here. Their success working the ball inside and getting points from close range. Harden the pass to Embiid. And no good. Nice D from Porzingis. Celtics trail by four. Brogdon outside. Porzingis with a screen on Hart. I've been looking around. Shot from the top of the key. And it's Joel Embiid with the rebound. Embiid's got his fourth rebound in this one. 76ers moving the ball around. And they double up Embiid. Embiid with a screen on White. Harden dishes to Embiid. And a fast break now for the Celtics. And White kicks to Brockton. Brown outside. Now Brogdon launches it. And that one's good. His second basket of four, shooting 50%. Brogdon knows he has the touch from there, so he's very comfortable launching the three ball. And the 76ers decide to take their first time out here. They won their last game. That was Thursday night. They shot the lights out from deep. Really stretched out the defense in that one. There's all kind of talk in the game today about stretching the floor because when you do that everything else just becomes a little easier. Some changes for Philadelphia. De'Anthony Melton comes in for Tobias Harris. And it's Patrick Beverly in for James Harden. And then for Boston. Luke Cornett, he's checked in for Horford. Mikhail Luke comes in for Jalen Brown. And Delano Banton's subbed in for Derek White. Brogdon at the top of the key and B. Chalk up two there. And B's got five now. Love the unselfishness of Beverly. When he sees his teammate wide open, he quickly gets him the ball. Outside, Brzingis. Pass to Brogdon. Outside, Brzingis. Rocket six. Porzingis against Maxi. Out left to the wing. Now here's MB. He's guarded close. Rebound Boston. 137 left to play in the first quarter. A three from Porzingis. It's hauled in by the 76ers. Embiid's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Pass to Beverly. Kicks it to Embiid. Oh, 
Pass to Melton. The high post shot. That's good, and that's Embiid with the assist. Embiid's got assist number five here tonight. When Melton has got it going from the mid-range, he's a tough guy to stop. Now, here's Brogdon. He's got five. Porzingis with a screen on Beverly. Brogdon outside. Calhoun. And the shot goes in from Chris Depps, Porzingis. Well, I tell you, Brogdon's taken such a big step. He's improved his ball handling and passing. It's made him an all-star caliber player. Now, here's Maxi. Eight points for him. Now, here's MB. Tight defense on him. It's hauled in by Cornette. That's the kind of D you need when he's got the ball near the hoop. They were all over. Makai Luke passes to Brogdon. They get a hand on it. Over in the corner, Beverly. Here's Embiid. And that would have counted, but his uh, shot was off the mark this time. Tyrese Maxey. He's been the guy making things happen for the Philadelphia 76ers. He notched eight points in the quarter and has that terrific basketball instinct on display. We'll get right back to the action when we return. Welcome you back to Game 4 on 2K Sports. And uh, guys, what's, uh, what's your take so far in Philadelphia? Coming in hot. They were sharp from the perimeter right out of the gate. Well, the player and ball movement has been excellent. Finding space, operating in space, and when they've gotten open shots, they've knocked them down. The 76ers leading by three. We've got DeAnthony Melton. Carroll is out there with Reed. Then it's Harden. And it's Beverly in at the point. That's the group for Philadelphia to start the second quarter. Surgical precision from Harden, demonstrating his sick handles one more time. Round the pass to Porzingis. Found it good. That's simply an outstanding play, working the size mismatch right at the rim. Harden against Brown. The pass to Beverly. Martin sets the pick for Beverly. And he drives in. Four on the shot clock. Three to screen. From deep. Benton with the rebound. Yeah, and you could tell he thought that triple was going to fall. Mr. Persingas. Here's Benton. Still scoreless. A pass to Porzingis, and the dunk by Porzingis. Well, what an athlete this Porzingis kid is, man. I tell you, you put the rock anywhere near him, and he's going to throw it down. Round against Harden. Harold a screen on Brock. The three from Harden, and Harold slams it in. Boy, great movement by Harrell rolling off the pick that time. Gets himself into a good scoring position there. Brown against Harden. Porzingis sets the pick for Brown. Pass to Porzingis. Takes the three. That doesn't go either for Porzingis. And here's Melton. He'll bring it up for Philadelphia. Three-point lead. Unloads from 13. The rebound by the Celtics. Boy, he knows he should have knocked that one down, especially with the defense not giving much of an effort. Passes it to McIver. He set the pick from outside the arc. That one's off. He starts the game with a miss. Harden outside. Loads it up there for Harrell. You've come to expect great passes from Harden. He's got a reputation for finding open guys. And there's the pass to McKinley. 
And they call an illegal screen here. Beyond the leaning, you could see his feet more set on that screen. Easy call. Yeah, I agree. You know, sometimes that can be a tough call for the refs to make, but not that time. It was easy there. And Philadelphia making a change here. Harris has checked in. The Celtics also changing it up. Robert Williams is checked in for Brissett. And it's wide in for Mikhailu. Harden the pass to Harris from the arc. Rebound by Williams. Williams has got five rebounds tonight. Brown outside. And the three ball is good. Brown's got six points. And, you know, we've seen Brown accept more responsibility over time on offense, including taking these quick shots. Now, here's Melton. Pass to Harden. Driving inside. Harris against Brown. A shot. Harris's shot is good. Harris has got his third basket of the night right there. Much respect to Tobias Harris. I mean, his touch has gotten better and better. And it seems to be the case every season. The Brzingis. There's Brown with the three. And it's Reed pulling it down. And not a night he's going to want to remember. Just not really able to score the basketball. Harden, no good. You can't look at the result of that shot. They'll take that whenever they get it. Well, you know, I hear you. That's a good look. But when you're that wide open, I think you got to knock it down. Austin shooting their second and third shots at the line right here. At the line for the Celtics, Derek White taking two shots. And that one falls for White. And some changes here for the 76ers. Embiid, he's checked in for Harold. And Maxi subbed in for DeAnthony Melton. And both free throws good for White. And at the line, it's all about consistency with him. His routine, his stroke, it never wavers. Up top, MB. Over Williams. The 19-footer is on the money. Embiid's got seven points in the game. Celtics trail by four. White with it. He's got seven. Porzingis kicks to White. Out to Porzingis. This ball moved by Boston. Down to five on the shot clock. Brown outside. He scores with that shot. And now he's three of eight. He's certainly starting to heat up from outside. That's his third for the game. His second in this quarter. On the wing, Harden. Five points in the game. Read the pass to Embiid. Whistle blows. Basket is good. So a chance here for a three-point play. Defense goes right at Embiid, but that size and strength of his, he just powers right through him. The 76ers have gone one for two on the night so far from the line. P.J. Tucker, he's checked in for Paul Reed. Then for the Celtics, Horford comes in for Robert Williams. And Brogdon subbed in for Delano Banton. Celtics trail by four. And here is Brogdon. He's got five. Pass to Horford. Six to shoot. Outside White for the three. It's hauled in by the 76ers. Where you'll see him miss such an open look. Harris kicks to Harden. Back to Harris. Now, here's Tucker. Scoreless thus far. 
from past the arc, and Harris gets it to go on the assist from Tucker. Harris has got the lead up to seven now for the 76ers. Outside, White. This is it to Horford. Dishes it to Brown. Then against Horford. Didn't pitch the horse. And they come right back with their own three-pointer. Horford's got his third bucket of the night. The real. Come at us, and we're coming right back at you. A little back and forth from long range. I love it. That's a terrific answer there. Now here's MB. Ten points for him. Porzingis with the block. That reach of Porzingis is just outrageous. I mean, I love when he uses it on defense to stifle shooters. The pass to Horford. He kicks it to Brown. Rebound by the 76ers. And Beach got his sixth rebound on the night. In the corner, it's Harris. Outside, Maxi. High post and B. And it's sent back by Horford. Horford doing a nice job that time using his length to get that shot block. Persingas with a screen on Harris. Pass to Persingas. This one for three. The shot's good. Brown making the play. Brown's got four assists in the game. Man, the triples keep falling, guys. That's three in a row. I think they're playing too soft on the perimeter. They can't stay so soft. They've got to get up into the shooters here. Timeout call, the 76ers. Take a look at the players who have pulled down the most rebounds during this postseason. Third is Joel Embiid. He's dialed up his rebounding here in the postseason. There's something about the big games that bring out the best in him. Finds Harden. Pass to Embiid. Shot clock at six. Yes, it is. Score that as a bucket. Number five on a five for 11 night. You know, he's had better starts, obviously, but he's shaking it off here in the second. So the Celtics call timeout. They're first. Every timeout, a chance to review the lineups, matchups, or call a play. And I agree. I think there's going to be a new wrinkle in their game plan when they come out of this timeout.
Harris against Brown. Porzingis sets the pick for Brown. Over Harris. And Embiid with the block. Embiid stiff arming that shot with authority. No mercy. Something that's kept this game close is the fact that the rebound. My goodness. Joel Embiid. Spectacular. And you guys know JoJo loves busting out these dunks. What an athlete. And that's life above the rim. Courtesy of our AT&T 5G Slam Cam. Celtics trail by five. Rodkin outside. 124 left in the first half. Rodkin with the bucket. That's a dozen straight points coming off the triple. You know, they're having free reign from beyond the arc. The defense is just not there. Now, here is Harden. Five points in the game. Embiid, the pass to Harden. To the middle. Here's Tucker. It's good. The assist that time from Harden. Tucker's got his first points of the night. Yeah, you got to do a lot more than that against Tucker, fellas. He's too big, too strong at times for the defense. White the pass to Horford. 44 seconds left to play here in the second quarter. Outside, Porzingis, five to shoot. Austin needs to get off his shot. Here's Brown, rejected by Harris. What a block from Harris, terrific work there. Here's Harden, and again, it's Philadelphia. You know, with his handles, he excels at tricking up the defense and getting the good looks he wants. Brown against Harris. Two second difference between shot clock and game clock. Brown outside. Bucket is good. Brown's got 14 points for the game. He's got a knack for making the hard shots. That was not an easy bucket for Brown. A big time effort for Joel Embiid, providing a lot of energy for the Philadelphia 76ers. He finishes with nine points in the quarter. The D is having all sorts of problems with him. Back to the action in just a minute. Thanks for joining our halftime broadcast here in game four, where it's been a strong start for the Philadelphia 76ers. Well, they've got this crowd on the edge of their seats. It's been one heck of a game. And if they continue to play well, they're going to take control of this series. Wouldn't that be a nice treat for these fans? Taking a look at the situation for the Philadelphia 76ers, they know a win would give them a big advantage in the series and take them one step closer to a postseason upset. It's hard not to love an underdog, and I'm not talking about our underdog. I'm talking about this underdog. EJ, check this out. No easy wins here in the postseason. They need to stay on their A game. And the most important games are often the toughest games to close out, so we'll just have to wait and see what happens. That we will. And that's a halftime wrap. Let's get back to the second half with the call by Kevin Harlan and the crew. And here we go, heading back to the action here in the Eastern Conference Finals. Joel Embiid has been sensational. Well, he was putting on a passing clinic in that first half, set up a lot of their mates. And you know, that's what delights him most. That's what he takes most pride in. He loves being the chief facilitator. And we've got second half action for you. Thus far, a pretty evenly contested game. On the court right now for the Celtics. The wing pairing, it's White and Brown. The post tandem, it's Horford and Williams. 
and it's Brogdon in at the one. Now here's MB. And Harris wide open. He shoots. The second chance effort. In close. MB gets it to fall. MB will eat you a lot on the offensive board. You've got to box that guy out. Now Brogdon. Williams a screen on Harris. Brown wide open. He fires. Misses the three. Philadelphia leading by six. Outside, Maxi. Here's Harden from deep three-point land. Trains it from beyond the arc. Tucker's got five points so far. Boy, Tucker looked like he felt disrespected by the defense there. It reminds him that he can knock it down from deep, too. Now, here's Brown. 14 points for him. Back to Brogdon. Maxie against White. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. That one on Maxi. Hey, White is a fighter now. He's close inside. He's committed to going aggressively to the rack. And if he doesn't score, he at least is going to draw the foul. Shoot two. And that one falls for White. The 76ers leading by eight. Number three, Harris. It's good. The assist that time from Harden. He's got 14. Nice touch from downtown. Tobias Harris continues to look better and better from this area. And then against Harden. Now didn't catch to Brown. White setting the pick for Brown. Had the space there, but it's offline. A slight rebound advantage for them. One more column in their favor, and it's all adding up. Well, you take a look at all of the stats, the team stats, that is, and that's one of the many areas that they've had the advantage. In. As a result, they've got a big lead. Celtics trail by 11. Here's White. And Philadelphia grabs the miss. And beach got rebound number 12 here already in the game. Maxie looking it over. Embiid with a screen on Brown. Maxie finds Embiid. And the dunk by Embiid. Nothing new for Embiid here. Going off for a big scoring performance. Par for the court. Time called here. The Celtics decide to top it over. Boston This postseason's dead-eye shooter. These guys 
have knocked down a ton of shots from downtown. Oh, well, you look at Tucker. He's absolutely deadly from outside. Just over two and a half minutes gone by here in the second half. To the paint, here's White. And good, coming on the assist by Brogdon. Brogdon's got his seventh assist of the game with that last one. Here's Harden on the win. He's guarded by Brogdon. Williams against Embiid. Over Williams. And again, it's Philadelphia. And when they've gone to him, he has come through big time. you got to keep getting him touches. Brogdon with it. Five points in the game. Count it. And the Philadelphia lead has been cut down to 11 on the bucket from Brown. Strong and explosive Jalen Brown is a tough matchup in the painted area. Passes to Harris. We've gone about three and a half minutes into the third now. On the pass to Maxi. That shot, no good. That's not the type of opportunity he fails to convert very often. Round against Maxi. Down kicks to Horford. Fires the three. The rebound by Harden. Philadelphia leading by 11. And here's Harris from the arc. Another three for Philadelphia. And this is the game plan for him. He's a big part of their floor space. And you know what? It's all about the long distance game for him tonight. He's getting it done from out there. Now, here's Brogdon. Outside, Horford. Brogdon a screen on Harris. Back to Brogdon. There's the three. The shot's good on the assist by Horford. Brogdon's got eight points. Boy, he's got such outstanding vision for a big guy, and he's a willing passer. He knows the importance of keeping the ball moving. Here's Harden, and he uses the glass on the lane. He's got nine. And with the lead, I like the strategy here. Continue to get the ball to guys who can do something with it. If it's working, keep working. That's what I say. Keep the pressure on. Now here's White. Ten points for him. Pass to Horford. Let's it go with a three. It's good from long range. Horford, Horford grabs three. the ball and immediately gets into a shot. You got to prepare with your feet and then be ready with your hand. Pass to Embiid. Joel Embiid. Too big. And here is Brogdon. Eight points for him. Time called here. The Celtics decide to talk it over. Joel Embiid with a strong contribution in this one. Absolutely on fire. They need to regroup and figure out a way to slow his roll. Anthony Melton. He's checked in for the 76ers. Austin also with the sub. Rosinkas is checked in.
It's White on the wing. He's guarded by Melton. Brown outside. Back to Porzingis. Four on the clock. And here's Brockton from the arc. Drains the three. And yes, he'll go to the line for one more. That's good. It's going to be on James Hart. And let's get your take, guys, on the hustle stats for the 76ers. A high effort brand of defense has been paying off for them in this one. They've managed to either block or alter a ton of their opponent's shots. The shooting's been great, but also, how about the energy level? That's what's impressed me the most. They've been getting it up and down in transition, and that takes effort. Brogdon, no good on the free throw. Well, I love the leadership of Brogdon. Always hard at work for his team. He's facilitating, communicating, providing offensive energy and direction. Love what this guy brings to the court. Now, here's Tucker. He has five. Back to Embiid. Harden against Brogdon. And it's out of bounds. The Celtics will take it the other way. Williams, a screen on Harden. Harden against Brogdon. And Embiid with the block. And, the, and they're controlling the boards, Kevin. That's plus five in that category. And guys, you know that rebounding is a huge part, a huge component of winning games. It's not a glamorous stat, but it's necessary if you're going to be a winning team. And here's MB following Porzingis' three. That one is good from Joel Embiid. Embiid's got ten points here in the second half. And so it's Brogdon who brings up the ball for Boston. Trailing here by eight. Porzingis sets the pick for Brogdon. And the Celtics hit again from deep. Wow, I mean, that is really deep. But Brogdon continues to show he's a dangerous three-point shooter even four or five feet behind the line. Now here's MB. He's got 24. Back to Harden. Six on the shot clock. Let's the free fly. Porzingis with the rebound. Persingas has got five rebounds tonight. Well, I don't think he's performing up to his own expectations, but they still find themselves out in front. Now, here's Brogdon. 14 points for him. Persingas passes to Brogdon. Again, the Celtics good for two. I tell you what, guys, there's not much more he can do. I mean, he's been on fire, yet they still trail in this game. And Philadelphia calls time here. You know, he recognized his players were fatigued and needed a, to catch their breath. Those guys were cooked out there. Some changes here for the Celtics. Hauser's checked in, and Makai Luke's subbed in for Jalen Brown. Milano Banting.
up there for Embiid. And Boston with the rebound. Persingas has got his sixth rebound on the night. For the time. Rebounded by Tucker. Tucker's got his fourth rebound in this one. Harris up top. He's got 17. Harden outside. Passes it to Embiid. Shoots. Porzingis with the block. Shot clock at three. Goes back up. And he connects with the jumper. Melton's got his second bucket. His mid-range shot is very solid. I mean, for some reason, the defense let him have it. It's Brogdon on the wing. Now the pass to Ben. One oh four left to play here in the third. That is good in the 76ers. Lead has cut down to just two points with the bucket from Brogdon. The defense is far too slow to close out on those three-point attempts. And those triples, they sure do add up quickly, don't they? I mean, they've got to make some kind of adjustment here. Now here is Harris. And, you know, you can't get overly physical with Harris because once you do, he turns it against you and uses it for his good. It's his first trip to the line. At the line for your Sixers, Tobias Harris. And he can't get the first one. Reed is checked in for Joel Embiid. Good on the second free throw. 50 seconds left in the third. Harden against Brogdon. For the tie. Rebound by the 76ers. Led by as many as 14 points. Yeah, and gotta like what they've been doing down low in the post. I certainly do. You know I like to see guys do their work inside. Their rebounding has been excellent. And that's always important in a close game. He gets that one. He's got his first points of the game. Just a grinder. Always doing the dirty work on the offensive glass. And that's one of the things he brings to the table. To the inside. Here's Porzingis. And the dunk by Porzingis. Yeah, you know what? He's a skilled passer. So if you leave people open around Brogdon, he'll make you wish you didn't. The three from Harden. Gets the three-point of the fall. Harden's got five points in the quarter. And so it's the Philadelphia 76ers with their lead standing at six points here at the end of the quarter. They've done a lot of great work from long range. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. And now we have a moment to uh, reveal our State Farm assist of the game. Uh, just true artistry right there. I mean, great decision on where to go with the ball. And how about the perfect delivery? And they'd love to see every possession in this way. True team basketball. And it's been a very competitive game so far as we get rolling here in quarter number four. Celtics trail by six. Green out there with Reed. Then it's Patrick Beverly. Then there's Harold. And it's Melton in at the two guard. That's the group on the floor for Philadelphia. Here's Brown. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Look, you've got to give Brown a lot of credit 
for his growth as a shooter. That wasn't something he did when he first got to the league. He put in a lot of work. He shoots it well from the floor and line. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he knocks down the first one. Daniel House has checked in for Philadelphia. And Brown drops them both. The 76ers leading by four. Beverly finds Milton. Here's the three. Rebounded by the Celtics. Here's Panton. Pass to Hauser. There's Brown with the three. Rebound by Harrell. You know, when he has the ball outside like that, that's exactly the kind of D they need to play on. Beverly and foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. And one thing about Beverly, he's not just nasty on defense. He's great at getting the defense to rough him up on the other end, too. And the first one at the line is good. Man, I tell you, you really have to appreciate how much Beverly hustles. He plays hungry and with an edge. He's skilled, though, on both ends of the floor in addition to that. And Philadelphia making a change here. Springer's checked in. All three throws, good from Beverly. Celtics trail by six. And we've played through about a minute here in the fourth. Brown right side, takes a three, drills it from outside. Brown's got 21 in the game. You know, early on, Brown struggled with his confidence taking threes. Now, he's a knockdown threat. He takes it in. Here's Springer. Shot clock at five. Here's Reed, and the tuck by Reed. It's been like this all night for both teams. The offenses having their way. Any law in the action so far has been short-lived because there have been nothing but buckets in this one. Here's McKay. Stolen by Beverly. Now, here's Melton. Defense right on him. Beverly, the pass to Harrell. And again, it's Philadelphia. Hit works well there. Not much resistance from the D. Yeah, that's not the defense you need. You've got to be tougher defensively. That's to Hauser. Going inside. Yeah, way to play in attack mode and get to the line. And you know the defense gets their money's worth on that foul. Stopping the layup and not giving up the and one. At the line for the softball. Sam Hauser. Two shots. And the first one drops. Yeah, I like that they haven't lost their aggressiveness here in the second, despite being down. That's exactly when you need to be aggressive. You know that. I mean, another good job, though, of drawing contact and getting to the free throw line. Derek White checked in for Mikhailu. And so he hits both. And here's Beverly. He brings it up for Philadelphia. Led by as many as 14 points. Reed kicks to Melton. Poked away. 
just four to shoot. Shoots it. Rebounded by Hauser. And not allowing the shooter even an inch of breathing room on that one. And guys, that's exactly the kind of high-impact defense they want to see out of here. Here's Hauser. Porzingis with a screen on green. Brown outside. It's hauled in by the 76ers. And beats a 76ers leading by five. Inside. Three dishes to Embiid. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. It's on Porzingis. And at 250 LBs, Embiid is a terror inside. Using that large frame to draw those fouls. Free throw drops for MB. They're shooting better from the free throw line since halftime. That's a big plus if you're holding the lead late. Tobias Harris has checked in for Philadelphia. Maxi comes in for Patrick Beverly. And MB drops them both. And right now at about 85% on the line. That's up from where it was in that first half. Outside, Porzingis. Porzingis sets the pick for Brown. There's the triple. Good on the three-point shot. Benton's got himself going there. His first points of the game on the deep ball. It's been this way since halftime. Tremendous production from beyond the arc. Well, it's been a three-point barrage. They came out gunning. They have not stopped. Celtics trail by six. We played just over three and a half minutes now in the fourth quarter. And here's Przingis for a three. And again, Boston with the triple. And they're getting their points now almost exclusively from the triple. Four of their last five makes are from beyond the arc. It's hard for me to watch this. I mean, the defense practically giving them those shots. Now, here's Melton. Back to Embiid. up on the elbow. That one goes. Count it. Embiid's got 14 points now in the second half. Hey, go to that whenever you can. I mean, Embiid has a huge advantage in size and skill. And they double up run. Deflects the pass. Now here's White. Outside, Rosinkas. Oh, good on the triple. The 76ers leading by five. Now Harris. Takes the 13-footer. It's rebounded by Porzingis. Porzingis has got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Right the pass to Hauser. Some solid defense from Reed. The 76ers have gone four and seven from the field since the beginning of the fourth. Took him no time at all on that one. And the jump shot has been a dimension of this game where they've had a clear advantage. They keep pulling up and watching them go down. It's a really nice thing to see. Now a timeout called by Boston.
Some changes for Philadelphia. P.J. Tucker comes in for Paul Reed. And James Harden has subbed in for DeAnthony Melton. And now we've got some time to check in from the sidelines. They got for us, D.A.? Thanks, guys. During the break, listened in with Joe Mazzula and his team. Now he reminded his team, keep looking for the deep ball. If the three is there, take it. You've done a good job getting those looks, so keep taking them. Back to you guys. Okay, David, thanks. And so it's Brogdon with it. He brings it up for the Celtics. Seven-point differential. Outside, Horford. Master Brogdon shoots the three. It's hauled in by the 76ers. Tucker's got five rebounds tonight. And then they continue to control the glass. Guys, I think they've simply been the more physical team. That's why they're ahead. Now, here's Tucker. Harden looking it over. It's over Brogdon. Harden can't hit. Celtics trail by seven. Outside, Horford. Back to Brogdon. White against Maxi. There's Brown with the three. Wow, through the contact, and that three almost went in, so he'll go to the line for three free throws. It's going to be on James Harden. And he's good on the first of three. And he's good on the second. Of course, he didn't have an attempt there in the first half. He's hoping to be a little bit more active and aggressive here and draw some fouls here in the second. And he can't make it three for three. You know, he looks a little off kilter to me this quarter, still trying to find his rhythm. High post and B. From 13, it's good. The assist that time from Harden. Harden's got assist number eight now on the night. Celtics trail by seven. Brogdon with it. Brown outside. Again, the miss by the Celtics. He's missing shot after shot after shot from long range. With time running low, he'd be better off trying something else. At the top of the key, indeed. Fades away. And it's White with the rebound. Unnecessary to go to the fadeaway there. It wasn't needed. Could have just kept it simple and taken the easy shot. Horford with the screen on Harris. Harris against Brown. For three, Brockton. That shot is good. He has made eight while missing only four. That's 67% shooting. When this fella starts knocking down threes, watch out, folks. Just pouring it on in this half. Now here's Harden. He dishes it to MD over Williams. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Don't care how strong you are, how big you are, what you think you can do. MB is a load to handle. Joel will get to the line. The free throw drops for MB. What you can't help but notice this half is how good they've been from the free throw line. Lights out. Good on both. 
Well, he's certainly been on target with the free throw. Such an advantage when your bigs can knock them down from the line. Brown against here. Brogdon outside. Kicks it to Williams. Celtics passing it around. Pocket six. And they double up Brown. Brogdon outside. From deep three-point land. Maxi against White. Williams has a screen for White. Off target from three-point range. Philadelphia leading by six. Harden outside. The pass to Tucker. Outside, Maxi Traps in the tray. Maxi's got five points now this quarter. Zero hesitation. Maxi. great confidence in his mechanics and his work. Now a timeout called by Boston. They trail by nine. 141 left in the game. against Harris. Brown inside. Some solid defense from Harris. And, and he has definitely been struggling in this quarter. You know, guys, it seems to me as though he's over-anxious. He seems to be pressing, trying too hard, moving too fast. Just needs to calm himself down and wait for good shots. Not surprised at all. He's shooting it well and scoring points in bunches. Off the run. Good. He hits the jump shot. Brown's got 25 points. Brown has a nice shot repertoire. Clearly, the mid-range doesn't give him much trouble. Pass to Tucker. Back to Harden. And the jam by Harden. And that'll do it for game four. Just a terrific performance all around. And a big-time conference finals win for the 76ers. Two great rebounding teams. And these guys worked just a little bit harder tonight. And that was the edge they needed. And one of the key components to this victory, if not the biggest, was the incredible performance for Joel Embiid. There wasn't much they could do to slow him down as he was converting every good chance he got. Here's Harden. Following the basket by Robert Williams. Embiid wide open. And Orford pulls it down. I didn't see that miss coming. I mean, he's usually been money from that range. To the inside. And the layup's good off the glass. Well, it's clear that there's a comfort level down there for Horford. He's got a lot of shots he can go to and moves to go with him. Now the 76ers with it. About three seconds between shot and game clock. High post, Embiid. And they double up Embiid. Embiid with the screen on white. Here's Maxi. Five on the clock. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. 
That one, I'm white. Checking in at about 200 pounds, Maxi is much stronger than he appears. Tyrese Maxi. Two shots. Gets the first, and that stretches their lead to eight. Second one is good. Getting both at the line, and it's a nine-point ball game. I think it's a wrap. When the game's on the line, he knows how to deliver the crushing blow. Pass to Brogdon for three. The shot's good on the assist by Horford. Outstanding poise from Malcolm Brogdon. Relishes any chance he gets to be the man in the clutch. So the 76ers win it. And now they're sitting on a commanding three games to one lead. They've grabbed this series by the throat, Greg. And, and, and Kevin, I don't think they're going to let it go. You can see the determination they had tonight. They don't want to drag this series out. They want to get this thing over. And now let's go over to David Aldridge from the sideline for an interview with our player of the game. Hey, David. Hey, Kevin, thank you. Joel, you took over offensively. What went into finding that rhythm? I thought I got the shots that I wanted, and I played into the flow of the offense, and my teammates were finding me, so I just knocked down some shots. Well, they were smart to look for you, man, because you had it going on, man. Congrats. Back to you, Kevin. Much appreciated, David. And so this one is in the books. We hope you've enjoyed being with us for the Eastern Conference Finals. For Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for watching this presentation of the NBA on 2K Sports. And now, our New Balance Player of the Game.